Okay, VO2 max testing. That's done on the bike. Make sure the bike is set up properly. Uh, you just want a little bit of a bend in the knee for, for height. So as you go down, so for Allie here, yeah, that's good, perfect. Right there, just a slight knee bend. Sometimes the client wants it a little bit higher, but uh, yeah, you wanna make sure that it's consistent. Okay, next, we're on the program. So this is a VO2 submaximal test. So what you need to do first is you need to pick the wattage program, okay? Hit watts, enter, enter, enter. You're gonna set the time, it's a 12 minute test. And then you're selecting your weight, doesn't matter. And then it's wattage. Uh, for this test, uh, you're picking the wattage based on, on on what you think they can do that's gonna get their heart rate above 120 beats per minute. So if you have a real elderly client or somebody that is not very fit, maybe it's 75 watts to start, maybe it's 100. Somebody who's a little bit more fit, maybe you're gonna start at 100, 125. Okay, so I'm gonna select the wattage and it's gonna be the same wattage for the first six minutes and press start. Okay, so the big thing here is the RPM has to be around 50. Okay, so that's just what the test, the protocol is. So it's gonna be un unfamiliar with a lot of people because it's pretty slow for a bike, but it has to stay at 50. So if it jumps up a little bit lower, a little bit higher, it's all good. Just try to keep that cadence you can get a metronome app if you want to help the client out. Tick tock on the 50, or you would set it for 100 because there and back would be 50 RPM. And that just makes it a little bit easier for the client not to think about it. So what we're doing in this test, on the minute, every minute, we're gonna see how your heart is responding to this specific wattage. So you can do it by holding the handles. Okay, one. Sometimes I find the handles don't work for a lot of clients. So I'll just manually take their heart rate, whether it's wrist or whether it's right here, okay? I like to count 10 seconds, times it by six, then you're, well, I like to use the clock here, that's the easiest way, and then times it by six, there's, there's your beats per minute. But um, sometimes the handles work great as well. So what the most important minutes are, are the fifth and sixth minutes. Okay, because you want to mark those two beats per minute because it's going to be the average beats for those last two within the six minute segment. And once the six minute segment is going, so we have some more data, you're going to have another change in the wattage. So we'll go 125. Sometimes for males, I'll jump by 50 watts. And then at the last two minutes again, we're going to get that average beats per minute. So you have two sets of data. So for example, it's at 100 watts and it's 125 beats per minute and then they go to 125 and the average is 142. So that's going to give us two points of data that we can use and then with their age, with their gender and with those two points of data, then we can put it into the calculations that we'll have for you. That'll make it really easy and then it'll show your VO2 max and that's just how efficient your heart and lungs are working and then you can see the differences pre-post appraisals.